Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode one of my new Airfix 172nd Shackleton AEW2 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, I've got a bit of a spiel. I have to apologise for not producing videos over the last couple of weeks. Real life's kicked in and it took me longer to recover from the Scottish Nationals than I expected. That was a hell of a drive there and back. And also, the King Tiger is doing my head in. Doesn't matter what to do to it, I always break something. Anyway, I'm taking a bit of a risk from that to rebuild my mojo, hence the change. Anywho, enough of that, it's over to Steph in the shed and I apologise for the sound quality too. Hello Steph, thanks very much for that welcome. So, next one. It is going to be 30,000 rivets flying in very close formation. Or eight screws are better than four blowjobs. Anyway, this one is Ermintrude from number eight squadron, RF Lossy Mouth, Moray. Or there's Dougal. Making a, I've got all my colours there. Dougal, number eight squadron. So, Dougal or Ermintrude? Let me know in the box below and I'll do whichever one you decide. So that's the colour schemes. The dreaded stencil sheet. And here's the destructions. Typical FX. Yep, well it's got World War II pilots in, I don't know. I'm not going to be using those. So, not too shabby at all. There you go. Bombay will be closed. I'm not fucking around. This is going to be a mojo builder. Because the tiger's just doing my head in at the moment. I should rephrase that, the King Tiger is doing my head at the moment. There we go. Deckel sheet, as per usual, looking not too bad at all. Really like that. Here you go, fun fact for you before we get on to the sprues. There you go, so this one's called Dougal, as I've already gone through. This one's called Ermintrude. Did you know that all the Shackleton aircraft were named after characters from either the Magic Roundabout or the Herbs? Go look it up, it's really quite interesting. So here's the uh, Spruce. This is Sprue G. I should really go through them A, B, C, D, 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 D. Not too bad. I do need a bit of a clean up on the back for the seats. So they'll be empty, the seats will. So yeah, these are going to need a bit of a drill out there. Yep. Looking okay. So as you can see, I've extended the camera all the way up there. I made my sheet bigger so I can get all of this in. Ah! If you listen closely, you can hear a waka waka going over. So, a bit of sprue on the edges there, a bit of flash on the edges there, but none on any of the parts. So, up a little bit around the edge there, considering this tooling is only what four or five years old and I've had this for about two years. Sorry, there's the insides. Not too bad, not too bad at all. These are the wings, nice recessed lines. Bit of discoloration there, but that'll soon hide up. So yeah, not 
looking to battle. The flaps looking good. Oh, they're bloody bent already. Oh, you know I'm going to have to snap those off and uh, drill them out and put some metal tubing in there. As you can see, Bombay doors. What? Right, they'll put. Oh, good lord, they're going to need filling. So, yep, that's the radar cover. Or the sonar cover, should I say. I'll probably get corrected in the. Uh, in the comments. Some very, very fragile bits here from uh, Herfax. So yeah, it's not looking too bad of the pieces. There's some really quite nice detail here. Shame half of it you're not going to bloody see. And the engine themselves and the wheel bay. A couple of uh, bits there that are going to need filling in. Because we'll, we'll dry fit those and have a look at them, see what they look like. The wheels are really nice. And then finally, the clear parts. They are lovely, crisp and clear, very little defamation on those. So yeah, looking very, very nice. So that is Airfix's 172nd Shackleton AEW2. So this build is going to be done from now. Thanks for that quick look at the kit, Steph. Now it's time for us to get on with the build. I'm going to be running through them stage by stage. First the seats. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and get them cracked. There we have the seats in place in the cockpit of the aircraft. Next, we're going to start on the cross members and the seating in the main body. So let's get those cracked.
there we have the cross members, bulkheads and seats glued in place. Now for the scope dope positions, oh sorry, warfare officer positions. Slip of the tongue there, anyway let's get those cracked. So, there we have the internals ready for priming. This has gone together so easily, the fit is fantastic. Well done Airfix, no wonder Tammy are a bit worried. Next, we have some bits to cut out and holes to drill on the two fuselage halves, as well as add a few bits of kit to glue on the inside. So, here we go with that. No, it didn't hurt, but yes, it was a bit of a shock. Do you know how hard it is to put a plaster on a still bleeding wound with one hand? Pretty hard. Boy, did I bleed. I blame the blood thinners for that. The moral? Watch where you leave your knife. Anywho, let's get back to the model. Here I took the other fuselage half off to help seat the part for the rear in the correct place and it worked an absolute treat. So on with the build. That's the left half of the fuselage done, we'll do the right in a bit. Now for the bomb aimer's position, here we go with that.
there we have the bomb aimers position done. Next up is the instrument panel for the cockpit. So here we go with that. Instrument panel completed satis. Now for the bubble dome locator. Oh, whatever you call it. I was an armor and not a rigger. Anyway, let's get on with that. There we have that part fitted, whatever it's called. I still like bubble down. Anywho, let's move on. It's time to sort out the right hand fuselage half with its cutouts, holes, kit, and any bulkheads that need to go. So let's get on with that. At this point I thought, ooh, have the door open. What a great idea. Yep, you know what's coming. And it failed miserably. Just couldn't get the PE to stick to the plastic, doesn't matter what I tried. It just kept popping off every time I glued it. But I will make the door hinged, even if I have to make 172nd scale hinges, so I can open the door once it is finished. Now to finish off this side. There we have both halves nearly ready. We've got all the internals done, just the door to sort out. Anywho, this seems like a goodie place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode one. If you want to see what happens in episode two, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling. <laughs>